Hello once more, and welcome to the Journey Out Chapter 3. Uh, see, this little puzzle had a surprisingly easy solution. I just uh, I just had to move my mouse around a little, and I noticed there was another exit from the area we were at in there with uh, Kito and Lina. Lead to this little balcony here. Uh, we can look at these things, uh, but they don't really tell us anything much, so let's just move on with this. Kaboom! Right. See? There. And one way out there, one way out there. Let's go here, get the root crystals, and, and see if we can make oh, stuff happen inside. Crystals are beautiful. Those crystals, crystals are also very pink. But I'm not gonna judge. Uh, root crystals into the generator. And Bona, go on and Kito, try starting the generator now. Okay. Hey. Ah. Good job, Bon. Great going, guys. Now let's see what secrets they're hiding in this computer. Hmm. The data files are encrypted. Aha! It's a 4-bit crypto security lock. Uh, okay, do I just do more in... Huh? Okay. So with that one, that one, and... Poke, poke, and there. I'm so ace. Good. Finally, this must We're be good. the power company's secret plans we've been looking for. The Zone One drilling project. Whoa, that drill is gigantic. This is madness. That drill is going to dig into the very heart of the Asili tree. Uh, that can't be good, right? They're going to drain its crystal energy and send it up to St. Armando. It will completely annihilate all life down here in the Underland. And why in heaven's name would they want to focus so much power into the city anyways? <gasps> what kind of an insane operation is this? No wonder they're trying to keep all of this a secret. I've got to make a hard copy of this. Here. Take this microfilm, Buona. Remember I told you about Professor Moorhead, my boss at the Agibo University? He spent years researching underland geology, and he was convinced that the mining company was secretly exhausting the roots of the Great Asili tree. Finally, we have the proof that he was right all along. You and Kito have to get back to the city and deliver the microfilm to him immediately. Deliver microfilm to Professor. Got it. I'll continue down the Marushaka River to the Valley of Roots. There's got to be a way for me to sabotage the drill. If I can only get into Zone 1. But how are we going to find the Professor? According to the map, this shaft is connected directly to the power company's old facilities on the outskirts of St. Armando. Now that you've got the power running, that bucket elevator should be able to take you all the way. Good luck. You too, Lena. Yeah! Good luck. Huh. So, you ready what to go could possibly go or? wrong? Yeah, let's go, Moon. Huh. Elevators. I just uh, got to thinking about uh, Xeno games. Uh, Xeno Gear, Xeno Saga, Xeno Blade, all that. <laughs> they always have elevators in them for some reason. Okay. Jump on board, buddy. Let's do the thing. A N N Eight TV live at eleven. The latest update from the number one news team, the Armando News Network.
In tonight's top story, increased hostility and unlawful disobedience at Sankara Square. Violent gangs, fume heads, and residential terrorists are forming a violent uprising challenging Governor Morobo's sweeping anti-criminal reform. And now, Gabby Abchicha is with us at Sankara Square, reporting live from the barricade. Thank you, Don. I'm standing here in the chaos of Sankara Town, where the government forces have deployed... Hey, turn off that propaganda nonsense. We got company. Company? What are you talking about, Sergeant? Intruders. We got them pinned down in the old excavation shaft. Lock and load. Oh, yeah. Finally some action. I don't know. I just got a whole lot of Crusader vibes off of that. Whoops. I didn't mean to trespass. Sorry. Buona. I think we got off on the wrong floor. <laughs> Y'all uh. better start talking, or we gonna blast you to pieces. Who you working for? Answer me. Oh, well, um... Oops. <laughs> ah, what the hell. Why not? Watch it! I know karate! <laughs> no, you don't, Buona. Hey, wait a minute. What? Keto, is that you? It's me, Wasi! Hey, long time no see you, man! What's up? <laughs> what kind of mess have you gotten yourself into this time? Uh, come on down from there. I'll show you the way to our hideout. Oh, this place rocks! You live down here? This here underground palace, my brother, is the home to the Resistance Rock. The Resistance Rockers? You said it, brother. Bombshell here is slamming the drums. And yours truly rocks the guitar. So what are you doing down here under the city? Oh, that's a long story, man. I'm looking for someone. A professor. Goes by the name of Moorhead. I got some very important information for him. You're looking for a professor down here? In the sewers? Hey, yeah. This ain't exactly an academic institution, Buana. I suggest you head over to San Caratown and ask around. Maybe someone there knows where to find it. What's going on in the city? Oh man, Buana, the situation's real bad. Mayor Marobo has lost it, man. She's going haywire. People are being evicted from their homes even as we speak. Barricades keep expanding, and the rich <laughs> just keep on getting richer. Man, it's madness. Head over to San Cara Square and see for yourself. So, who is this Mayor Marobo? Mayor Marobo is the Iron Lady on top of the whole wicked system, aye? Right? She fights poverty, literally, by kicking the poor out on the streets. And she owns the media, too. I'm telling you, man, that vampire is sucking the blood out of St. Armando. And she's got the riot police doing her dirty work. Thousands of them. Blooded cops lined up and armed to the teeth, you know? Wow, really? That's the truth, brother. It's like a police bestiality, man. That's why we gotta reveal her lies and break down the entire system. Tell me more about the resistance, Rocker. Well, check it out. We're the rawest, most revolutionary underground rock and roll band in St. Armando. Amen, brother. We've been camping out here since the cops evicted us from our crib downtown. The pigs have closed down and barricaded the city center. It's like a ghost town, man. Now we live here, with the other outcasts of St. Armando. Ooh, what you working on? Me and Bombshell's here, where? <laughs> we working on the revolution, man. The city of St. Armando has been going to hell for a long time. And something's gotta change. Yeah, our next piece is gonna rip the establishment to shreds, man. It's high time the oppressive regime of Mayor Morobo comes to an end. Oh, man. I gotta fight the oppression. How you been, Wasi? Been a long time since we roamed the city streets together. Ha! Sure has, Buana. You and Keto used to be my favorite low hoodlum brothers. But we kids sure made those streets dangerous. Oh, we certainly did, man. <laughs> you remember how we used to pickpocket Johns down Central? You serious, Wasi? Oh, right as rain I am. We were some real neighborhood vigilantes. Buona was scaring them with firecrackers. Me? <laughs> I was crawling through their coats for cash. And Keto clinging to their legs like, like some dog on elf fuel. <laughs> Woo, we sure made those suckers run. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet they went home and cried to mama and rethought their lives after that. Ah, yeah. Those were good times. So whatever happened to you and Keto, man? I always kind of figured you guys got into trouble with the cops. You got locked up for good. <laughs> sure, we got locked away a couple times, but we always found you. We got lucky and got off the streets. Wound up in Kingsport Bay. Been living a chill life there, running a charter. It's been real good. Glad to hear you made it okay, Bois. Most of us stray dogs from the street days have had a tough time finding a peaceful place in this universe. The city ain't what it used to be, Bois. Real good seeing you again, man. You too, man. See you around, Wasi. Later, Buana. You know, I have to say... I, I mean, I did uh, mention... Uh, that the newscasts have a very similar vibe to uh, the uh, Crusader games. The old DOS games. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I'm one of the few who still remember them. The revolution rush will be the one. But uh, yeah, if only you can get your pansy ass back up on stage, sort of tone here. Man, you know I'm still processing my emotions. Well, at least the uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I know I'm talking over the game here. Okay, I'll wait. Of your broken pride, this will all be game over, man. Bombshell. I told you I am not playing this guitar outside of this here room until I get my mojo back. God knows from where. But I swear to you that when I do, I'm gonna shatter the earth with rock and roll. I cannot believe you and your boneheaded ego. I mean, playing this, um, it started to feel a lot like you for of Grim Fandango. Which is a good thing on the whole, I would say. <coughs> Dude, can you do that outside, please? Oh, you bet I can. <laughs> okay, good one. Uh, I mean, the color scale. Um, in uh, Griffin Dango Year 4, you spend a lot of the uh, game there in, um, in a nighttime setting, so uh, it, it, it'll be in dark with some neon signs like this. Yeah. Very Griffin Dango y. I think it's connected to the TV. Some lowlife stole our VCR last week. Yeah, not cool. Oh. Well. Ain't that a shame. Uh, can we do something with the drums? I think we're going to be able to do something with the drums. <laughs> Knowing the uh, games uh, Theo and I used to play. Uh back in the day knowing his inspirations what's up hey Buana. it's good to meet you a friend of Wasi is a friend of mine I'm bombshell resident drummer and pyrotechnician basically you can say I'm in charge of everything that goes boom around here so what's your gig Buana? I'm a pilot you a pilot oh come on man I never met a dude so afraid of heights in my entire life Fine as long as I get to have my eyes closed. Why do you haven't changed a bit? Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> a pilot that is afraid of heights? No. Not really, no. Oh. Okay. Live at Woodlock. The Fatito incident. The Fatito incident? Oh, well, I remember this album. Yeah, that was our debut album. It rocked so hard, our tour bus <laughs> to pieces. Yeah, we were big back then. Real big. Yeah, those were the good times, Wasi. Live at Woodlock. That was gonna be our big comeback. Our underground revolution. Damn. We'd done everything to make sure the cops wouldn't find out we were playing concert had been going great the crowd was cheering everything was perfect but then in the middle of an epic shred they hit me where it hurt the most those bastards pulled a plug on me wow the crowd was raging was was booed off the stage it hurt him hurt him bad what happened turns out it was an inside job one of the technicians was an undercover cop working for Marobo. 
Uh, the powers that be have broken my mojo. Silence the resistance rockers at last. Huh. Did I hear a story like that in uh, Curse of Monkey Island, perhaps? Well, anyway, let's step outside. Ah, sure smells like Saint Armand. Must be somewhere far from the city center, though. I don't recognize this place. <laughs> okay, good going. That highway probably leads straight into central Saint Armando. Hmm, guessing we'll be trying to get on it somehow. Nice car. Looks like it's been through quite a lot though. Sounds like someone's taking a nap in there. Hmm. I wonder, is, is this model after a Volvo 242? Or the 240 series? Kinda looks like it. Huh. Wonder why. Sign says, Blood Control Canal 412B, City of St. Armando. This must have been one of the many canals they built after the big flood of 79. I remember when that happened. <laughs> Me and Kido had a blast that summer, selling hot dogs from a canoe in the middle of downtown. Authorities never figured out what triggered that flood. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's a hole in the fence up there. Something we can exploit, maybe? Looks like we're somewhere off over the north side of Armando. Only industries here. All right, let's go check out Sankara Town. Hmm. Neat travel screen. Oh, wow! I can't believe I've been going to that other place all these years. How long you been here? We just moved here from Kingspot. These noodles are fabulous. I love these little blue... thingies. What are they? Oh, that is Chef's secret. Very good for man. Make you good, strong man. Oh, I'm sure it does. They're so juicy and spicy and so perfectly squishy. Yes, eat Sabokina noodles every day. Make strong heart. Tell all friends. Make a great fortune for all. Uh, yes, sure. Oh, isn't that the guy from the uh, ship? Yeah. In Sabo Kitchen again! Makina, uh, look who come visit! Hey, would you look at that? Hey, Makina! You miss me? What are you crazy donkey? I never thought I'd see you again! Did you get yourself in trouble again? Trouble? Me? <laughs> Allez, super low! Play it super cool and lay like super duper low! If you say so, Buona. I'm just glad you're back in one piece. You guys heard about Professor Moorhead? Sorry, Buona. No idea who you're talking about. Tabo? You heard about Moorhead? No, sorry. Alright, thanks, guys. Who is this Morobo woman? Yeah, she's into some real shady deals, it seems. He's sending it all out for her own personal gains, I guess. Morobo make all addictions. Make barricades. I suppose we're gonna have to move again. But we blew our last savings getting this joint. I don't really know how we're gonna solve this. Hey, don't worry about it, Makina. 
I'm sure we'll figure something out. I sure hope so, Buona. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's extra incentive for the player to uh, get to the end of this adventure. So Sabu can, uh, so Makera can uh, keep her new, <laughs> new establishment. Why you leave Kingsport Bay? Kingsport isn't what it used to be, Buona. After you left, the power company switched off the electricity and barricaded the whole area. Lucky for me, Sabo stumbled into my life, giving me all sorts of praise for my cooking. And we fell in love, and our new restaurant was a fact. Oh, that's a beautiful story, Makina. Huh. Well, how about that? How city life? Oh, I'm loving the big city, Buona. We have plenty of customers, and our Sabo Kena's hot yogurt chili fusion is a big hit. Yes, wonderful partnership in St. Armando. Sankara Town is a great place for food culture. If only we didn't have the eviction looming around the corner, I'd say we made it real good here. What? You gonna throw you out of here too? Yes, they bulldozing everything here in Sankara Town. I defend! I cut bulldozer to pieces! What's cooking? Making more of our patented Sabokena Yugla Chili Fusion Noodles. Great! Put some more on! I'm almost done here. Would hate to see the bottom of my bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you like it. Me and my Sabo is making magic. Wonderful magic with wonderful woman. Oh, hush, Sabo. You're making me blush. Oh, aren't you guys the cutest? How long is this conversation gonna be, though? Do you ever miss Kingsport Bay? Of course I do. Robo's been cutting off huge parts of the city, and Kingsport is one of them. With no trains and almost the whole harbor shut down, so much as getting there now is real difficult. Oh man, miss the old chatter. Well, if we ever get rid of Morobo. Maybe one day we can all go back. I sure hope so, Makina. Catch you later, guys. Take care, Buona. <laughs> okay, that's the end of it. Hey, what's that funny thing? <laughs> Creepy bunny. Stop it, Buona. You're draining the batteries. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Hey lady, <clears throat> what's that big blue thing? Is that a tire? Well, getting a hold of Madiagla here in the city has been difficult. So we had to move into some more experimental cooking. Oh. Uh. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I did not need to know that. Cool. <laughs> Good luck getting Sabo to separate with one of his precious knives. Only time that ever happens is when he draws them at things. Yes, drawing knives? Very good relaxing therapy. Hmm, I'm guessing we'll be able to get in there and uh, yank us a knife. That is a clickable hotspot, but um, we'll just have to see. It's an old poster with a picture of a beautiful woman posing with a battle. Drink McFerrin eel rings, a connoisseur's taste of Port Archie. Okay. Well, let's see if we can move further with the game. At last. Sankara Town is just the way I remember it. And it still smells delicious. Wow. You know, some time ago, <laughs> uh, Theo again uh, uh, put up um, a sort of a work in progress picture of this place. <laughs> they have had it a ton of stuff. I the band's new. I don't think the shop was sitting here in the picture. Uh, well, 
Uh, tip jar. Ooh. Okay, I'm guessing we can steal that. <coughs> um, you didn't hear me say that. I didn't say that at all. Huh. Well, you know, I think uh, this is the best opportunity I'm gonna get to cut the episode, so, uh. Um. Yeah. I'll leave it here, and, um. I hope to see you right back in the next episode. Until then.